they will have a lot to right say time. about who wins like, tonight. Here we go. And it's the Hoyas to start out. Oh, heck no. All right, let's, let's, let's make sure we got everything set up here. Uh, I want to make sure the little... It's a little loud. I can't really hear myself, so let me see. No, you know what? I can just... That's fine. Um, I can just turn the, vol the overall volume down. Let's go... Broadcast, I guess. Nah, we're gonna go broadcast. I mean, I think we're gonna go broadcast. Yeah, broadcast. Wait, where is it? And then I'm gonna go. I probably like height. I don't really like a ton of height on broadcast. It's a little low. Maybe three actually. Zoom can be. Seven. Let's try that. Sure. Use. Well, we'll use it for this game. See how it works. And then. Yeah. And then let me just turn my mic down. My volume down a little bit. Here's Foy from 13. He can't get it to go. So you give Michael the ball every single time. He can score with him. Jordan against Duncan. Jordan deciding where to go with it. He kicks it to Perkins. Puts it up from 17. And there's Jordan. That's good on the assist by Perkins. Clark Ewing and Jordan. Incredible freshman talents in different ways. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Ewing's M.O. is to dominate the inside defensively. Rebounding and blocking shots, rim protecting, scoring near the hoop. Jordan is looking to get his by shooting and slashing. Play lockdown perimeter D. Boy, it's a joy to watch both of these guys play, and I can't wait to see them get after it. I can't wait either. Duncan against Jordan. Passes it to Barnett. Fires from the corner. Worthy dishes to Jordan. Back to Worthy. Jordan against Duncan. No stop. And you can see they're taking their time on this trip. Shoots from NBA three-point range. Michael Jordan. Mark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. But honestly, no three-point line in NCAA basketball. Looks like, uh, and Clark, no shot clock as well. Yeah, I think those rules, Kevin, is, favor is, uh, teams that focus on the inside to. play. Guys like Pat Ewing. It also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC, who are prone to play a delay game at times. And a dream deferred. Qatar Heels finishing with force. Whoa. Shook that building all the way up. I would really rather have him one hand. Smart basketball from a freshman. Jordan showing you good discretion with his shot. Here's Foy. Pass to Ewing. Now Nash. Back to Duncan. He claims that one off the back iron and down it falls. Now the Tar Heels with it. The pass to Barnett. Here's Jordan. Jordan with another miss. And he has got the ball here for Georgetown. Trailing by two. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style's worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina has won 15 straight games and overall 31-2. and two. Do not test Pat Ewing. Wow, try someone else. 
Floyd passes to Nash. And that one is good. And this game is tied up now. Floyd, a willing passer and a nice feed that time. Very popular is Sleepy in the Hoyas locker room. Outside Jordan. Where they try to break free, and Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got eight. While older players like James Worthy might be the leader of UNC, youngster Michael Jordan is the fire of the Tar Heels. And how unique is it? We don't often Michael, see a freshman Mike starting in the national championship game. Around, so. Jordan's certainly a guy to keep an eye on. He's an incredible athlete and a tremendous competitor. They Let's grab see, their own miss. Pass to Barnett. Back to Jordan. Perkins with it. Passes it to Bacon. And here is Jordan. Pass to Barnett. Jordan down low. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That's on Patrick Ewing. Defense a little too amped up there. Jordan drawing the whistle. The Tar Heels shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Free throw good, Jordan. Green is checked in for the Hoyts. And both free throws good for Jordan. Free throw shooting is a skill, and this guy absolutely has it. The Hoyas trail by four. You know, before this weekend, none of these guys have played in a dome. It's hard to shoot in these places, Clark. Yeah, you know, oh. sometimes, Mike, that's a tad overrated, but there is something to the fact that your depth perception okay. is a little bit off. You can't really simulate what it's like in a dome. So I think you look for these teams to really attack and not settle for jump shot. Nice dribble move by Jordan. He handles the ball like a point guard. This looks awesome. This looks fantastic. Jordan's gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 60%. Green with a screen on Barnett. Here's Floyd, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. La Jolla is shooting their first free throws of the game. Michael's Sleepy definitely not going to hit the, last, the winning shot on, because these free throws may serve like much, to be the difference late in the game. So he gets them both. Tar Heels leading by four. Here's Barnett. Jordan passes to Perkins. Jordan left side. The pass to Bacon. Now here's Perkins. Back to Worthy. Goes up and leaves it. All nice movement. Place. Can't be afraid tonight. Worthy letting it all ride out there. It's like OD ball movement. Ball movement. The Hoyas trail by six. to the paint. Here's Ewing. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Ewing's got his second bucket. And just a shade under seven feet tall. Really hard to cover Ewing in space. He's under seven feet tall. And here's North Carolina now. Barnett passes to Bacon. Stolen. And now the Hoyas on the break. Oh, the Hoyas love to run. They want this game to be a track meet. And you can tell they're in sync right now, turning steals into fast break points. Pass to Perkins. At the elbow, it's Worthy. Over Green. Here's Jordan. Basket is good. The assist from Worthy. Jordan's got 14. Some intimidators on that Georgetown D. Jordan not phased. The conference freshman of the year. Guard Michael Jordan appears headed to start him. Pass to Nash. Worthy pulls it in. And young Michael Jordan 
born in Brooklyn. Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. Hey, like and Kevin is well chronicled, but Jordan didn't make his varsity basketball team until he was a junior. It's an indication of how everybody's journey to development is different. Michael used that slight, though, as fuel becoming a high school All-American. Michael Jordan, one to keep tabs on as his career progresses. That's good, and the Tar Heels lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Ewing. Inside, Ewing has the advantage against the Tar Heels. He's got height, reach, hard to cut him off. Here's Jordan. Calls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And great shot selection by North Carolina. This is a team that was over 60% during the regular season. Mike, when we take a look out on the court, so much talent out there right in front of us on the floor. Kevin, there are at least five bona fide NBA players in this game. Ewing, Jordan, Perkins, Floyd, Worthy. A star-studded championship game. Here's Jordan. How big has Jordan been for North Carolina? Up to the 20-point mark, ready for the moment. He has showed up and is showing out tonight. Jordan understands how big this game is. Floyd passes to Ewing over Perkins. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And the foul called on the North Carolina Tar Heel. The Hoyas have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And he drops the first one, and he can gather himself now and try to make it two in a row. At the free throw line, Pat Ewing is solid. Good mechanics. I think he could get even better. Both free throws good from Ewing. Playing in his final game at Georgetown, senior guard Eric Sleepy Floyd with just about 2,300 career points. Floyd is the all-time leader in Hoyas basketball history. Perkins with a screen on Duncan. Jordan can't get it to go. The Hoyas trail by four. Here's Nash. Rebound, North Carolina. And Clark, the man they call Sleepy. Floyd is 6'3". And some kind of excitement for the Hoyas. Love the way he plays with such flair and enthusiasm and energy. He's the focal point of the Georgetown attack. And I really expect Sleepy Floyd to be a first-round draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He is a dynamo for sure. Yep. Duncan outside. To the inside. Green breaking loose. That's good, and the Tar Heels lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Ewan. Here's Barnett. It's Jordan on the wing. Over Duncan. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Jordan's got 22 points. Georgetown center Pat Ewan, the seven-foot freshman sensation, was born in Jamaica. Played lots of soccer and cricket as a youngster. His family moved to Boston for high school and the rest is history. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. And so Jordan will bring it up for North Carolina. Perkins with it. He's picked up by Ewing. Perkins scoring on Ewing. Let's put, we're going to have to put Michael down low. Just hopefully he get. I'm going to put a bunch of short guys in the game. And then Michael will be the tallest guy. Hopefully he'll get the rebound. Hopefully he'll get the rebound. So I put a bunch of short guys in the game. And then put Michael at center. Because he's not getting any boards. Like, not one. All right, we got 6'2. Six 6'2, two. Six two, six 6'3 is pretty good. All right. Who the hell is this guy? 6'4. Alright, 6'2 then. 6'2. Alright, six, 
one, two, three. Michael can go, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Michael can be down there. That's six, nine, six, four, and that's too big. I don't even want those guys in there. So it looks like six, seven, six, four, we're gonna have to go with, unfortunately. He can be at the point guard. Six, four, or is that six, four, dude? Right here. All right, let's make these subs. Code settings, make sure I don't, I don't want this switched up. No, not rotation. How about, oh my gosh. I want to make the calls. Manual, there you go. That is a massive matchup tonight. That's Perkins. He can beat you back to the basket or facing up. Nash outside. Down low. Pass the four. Kicks to Green. The pass to Ewing. Inside, Nash. That's good, and Ewing with the assist. Nash has got his second basket of the game. And naturally, Coach, when the Ewings moved to Boston, Pat picked up the game of basketball. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> Becoming one of the most sought-after recruits ever. Pat visited a few schools, including North Carolina, but Ewing picked Georgetown. Yeah, I think you like big John Thompson, didn't you? Timeout called the Tar Heels. Here's Barnett. Shot from the wing. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. Mike, we're still in the first half, but Jordan's been fantastic so far. Jordan is not just scoring, but he's also been efficient, not wasting his chances. That's how you play big. Ewing just brushing off that contact. That's what you want to see out of your center. Well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people, features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both hail from Gastonia. Well, they grew up going to church together, they went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, it was Sleepy's Hunter Hess High that got the better of James's Ashbrook in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story and very interesting. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike, they say Gastonia, North Carolina, pretty much shut down tonight. All we got one the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that town is watching this game. Worthy with a chance to avenge the state title lost with a national title win. Wouldn't that be something? This young man can carry the load for you offensively. And he can do it all night. The Tar Heels trailing. Coach, freshmen are going to have a big say who wins tonight. We were just talking about that. Carolina's Michael Jordan. Georgetown's Pat Ewing. Fairly even thus far. It's rare in a title game to focus so much on the freshmen. But Jordan and Ewing are special. Very special. Barnett, no good. I think there's way more they could have done there to try and open something up, get something a little better. Yeah, they settled for a poor shot when they didn't have to. Ewing right side. 
over Jordan. Another miss by Ewing. Now the Tar Heels with it. Trailing by two. Here's Caldwell. Ewing gets the rebound. Now here's Duncan. One second left. No good on the last second attempt there. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Boy is lead by two. And as dusk descends over the French Quarter here in New Orleans, Louisiana, we're ready to go with the second half. With Clark Kellogg, Mike Fratello, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan coming to you live from New Orleans, North Carolina, and Georgetown. Tonight, we'll crown a champion. And here's North Carolina now. A two-point game. During this year's NCAA tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second halves. Some tremendous post-halftime play. Taking a look at the Hoyas. Boyd out there with Duncan. Then it's Nash. Then there's Ewing. And it's McCray in at the force line. Here's Caldwell, covered by Duncan. And here are the Hoyas now. Here's Ewing. They can't stop Ewing around the bucket. That's an excellent move inside, keeping pace here. Tar Heels trail by four. Mike, they are desperate to find a basket. Hmm, they're having a really hard time out there. You're right. In the tournament, Clark, the Tar Heels over 75% after the break. How have they shot it so well? There are a number of factors, Kevin, but I think one of the primary ones is patience. UNC has that stall game, if you will. They're looking for the best shot, and they wait for the right shot. The experience of James Worthy, I think, helps them with that as well. Helps them a lot. Hoyas leading by four. North Carolina freshman Michael Jordan. Fantastic, Mike, so far. Shooting well. Looking very comfortable shooting in a dome. Jordan will be key down the stretch. And so here now, North Carolina. Pass to Caldwell. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. A frustrating night for the Tar Heels being forced into tough, bad shots by Georgetown. The Hoyas certainly playing championship defense right now. Here's Ewing. The Hoyas with another miss. The Tar Heels trail by four. Here's Floyd, guarded by Stewart. Floyd passes to Ewing over Jordan. And again, Georgetown no good. And Adams has got the ball here for North Carolina to the left wing. Now rebound pass. Here's Caldwell. Born in Washington, D.C., John Thompson is the perfect head coach for Georgetown. Big John was a great player back in his day. Backed up Bill Russell for two years with the Boston Celtics. And out of bounds. The Hoyles will take it. Bailey's checked in for Duncan. That's right, because I'm, I'm coach. Hoyas leading by four. Here's Floyd. To the middle. Here's Bailey. Here's Ewing. And it's good. He's made two for every one he's missed. Ten of 15 in the contest. Hard for North Carolina to contest this. Ewing uses his size to snatch the rebound and get a shot of his own. Caldwell can't hit. Big John Thompson patrolling the sidelines. Clark for the Hoyas. What makes him such a great coach? Well, the players love, but they also respect him greatly. 
you marvel at what he's done at Georgetown. He's really built that program into a perennial power. Prior to his arrival in 1972, it was a perennial losing program. He's got the Hoyas right on the precipice of a championship tonight. He does indeed. Here's Caldwell. And here is Adams. Jordan inside. Defended by Nash. Jordan with the bucket. In last year's title game in Philadelphia, North Carolina dropped it to Isaiah Thomas in Indiana, 63-50. A bitter pill for sure for these Tar Heels. Ewing misses. Tar Heels trail by six. Adams taking his time here. Passes it to Caldwell. Let's go. And the shot is long. And North Carolina Mike dropping last year's NCAA championship game. It's a huge motivating factor for their returners. Guys like James Worthy, Sam Perkins. They said that loss fueled them during off-season workouts. Those are terrific college basketball players. Pass to Adams. Over to the left wing. Here's Caldwell. Yes! Oh, yes! Jordan outside. Here's Caldwell. And there's the pass to Stewart. Another shot. Here's Caldwell. It's held in by the Hoyas. Boyd's got four rebounds in this game. Since the break, Clark, a great job by Georgetown defensively. They're making things hard on the Tar Heels offense. No easy looks allowed so far. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. Tar Heels trail by eight. It's Jordan on the wing. 24 points for him, and the basket is good. Terrific resilience from the young Jordan. Not letting the contact bother him at all. The much-talked-about matchup of freshmen, Jordan and Ewing. Mike, it's been very close. While the two don't directly face off, they set the tone for their teams. We never say that about first-year players. Never. Adams with it. Patrick Ewing covering. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Adams. Jordan's got 28. More than pulling his weight offensively. I mean, he's ready and willing to step up when called upon. And they'll need him to continue filling it up if they want to take control. A one Tar Heel is stepping up, Mike, in the national title game, freshman Michael Jordan. We expected that from Michael. He's a big game player. And boy, Jordan's been huge tonight. Just gigantic. And so he makes both from the line. Tar Heels trail by eight. Stewart with it. Left side, Jordan. Good on the bucket. Jordan's got 30 points. Can't afford to hold anything back in these games, and Jordan definitely isn't. This looks so, this looks so good, though. Like, it looks so accurate to how it was. Here's I mean, Floyd. pretty darn good for a game. Rebound, North Carolina. Here's Caldwell. Jordan trying to free himself up. Caldwell can't hit. Again and again, Ewing owning the glass. A major factor tonight. Another close one for North Carolina. They won their first game in the tournament by two points. Their largest margin of victory, just 10 points. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. A seven-footer with moves. Pat Ewing. That guy is a future first overall pick. And Clark, we know that UNC has played in lots of big-time, tight tournament games. Is that an advantage? I think it certainly helps, Kevin. You can't dismiss or discount that fact. The Tar Heels are comfortable and used 
to playing in close games. They have perfected late game composure and execution. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Now Weber. Ewing kicks to Weber. Down low. Here's Green. And it's Green slamming it down. Surveying the floor well and settling into the offense. Good sign from Ewing. Tar Heels trail by eight. And Davis pulls it down. Georgetown trying to get their first national title. This is a program that missed the NCAAs for 32 straight years. Just their second ever appearance in the final four. Tell you what, that one felt like more than two points. Ewing shaking the floor, firing up his Hoya teammates. Jordan, left side. From the corner, Ewing gets the rebound. Ewing's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And unlike North Carolina, Georgetown was not considered a blue blood in college hoops. No, I tell you what, that changed though, Kevin, when John Thompson got hired 11 years ago. It did. Yeah, Georgetown was considered a small hoop school. Now, they are a premier program. A title would cement them amongst the nation's best. Their recruiting has been terrific. Michael Jordan, what a leaper! Flying high, Jordan levitates. And so it's Weber with it. He brings it up for Georgetown. Ten-point lead. Pass to Ewing. And then Ewing with the jam. So easy for Ewing to get to the rim. In a championship game, you just can't leave that open for him. And it's North Carolina's ball. Jordan outside. Lays it up off the glass. Jordan's got 34 points. He's doing everything he can to carry this team. But even his impressive numbers can't do it alone. Others need to get involved. Ewing right side. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. Weber's got three assists in the game. Now here's Stewart. Let's it go from the wing. That's good, and the Hoyas' lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Jordan. Adam Barnett. Poked loose and stolen by Jordan. To the paint. Lugging for Stewart, he gets it there. It doesn't go for him. I think they were going for a little extra flavor there, ultimately coming up way short. The timing on the pass was just off. And as a result, the play blows up in their faces. And the Hoyers call time here. <laughs> Nash is checked in for the Hoyers. Boyd comes in for Weber. Why do you have to get nine? And it's the Hoyers with the ball. Driving the lane. Here's Floyd. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Floyd's got the lead up to 12 now for the Hoyers. In amongst the big, bad Carolina defense, Sleepy Floyd gets it to go. The shot's good from Jordan. This offense has been dynamic and diversified. Everybody sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you really hard to defend. Inside. Here's Ewing. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Adams. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Hoyas leading by 10. Here's Floyd to the inside. And there's Green on the assist by Ewing. Ewing's got his third assist on the night. Now the crease took advantage and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Passes to Caldwell. Here's Barnett. Inside. Here's Jordan. Chalk up two there. Jordan's got 40 points. 
Jordan giving maximum effort for his teammates, making the most of that inside opportunity. Here's Foy. Pass to Ewing. From 13, they get it again. Floyd. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You know, at one point it looked like there was still a chance, but I think that time has come and gone. Now they're just hoping to end with something they can build on. Here's Adams again, North Carolina. A nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. One more shot might be all it takes here. Exactly. That might be the final nail, so to speak. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. Michael. It'll be foul number five on him, so now he's fouled out of the game. Single bonus situation, so it's a one-on-one -on -one free throw opportunity now. Yeah, that two shots is an inaccurate representation of what happens. This is not how it went down, folks. Both free throws good from you. Tremendous poise at the line. That should put this game to bed. I'll put you to bed. And here's Stewart. Here's Barnett. Here's Adams. Again, North Carolina. Yeah, he got Knocks down that jumper easily us. over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Here's the lob to Adams. Deft touch on the alley -oop. Now, what should I call that? An alley oops? <laughs> no. Whatever we call it, it's two points. And for the first time in school history, Mike, yeah, the Hoyas are national Hoyas champion. Coach USC John USC Thompson USC. has his title. You just feel great for Big John, his players, guys like Sleepy Floyd, in his final game at Georgetown going out a champion and for north carolina clark once again so close but with guys like michael jordan sam perkins they'll be back yeah they're loaded oh my gosh well i got the 16 points oh, we're gonna have to run it again I think we're gonna have to run it again, folks.